we need to ask how many apples the user wants. So we can create a variable called apples, and then we ask them the question. So this has to be an integer because you can't have half an apple. So how many apple do you want? Okay, so we use integer for um, the data type and input to ask the question. Next, we need to say, ask them how many people the user will share the apples with. So we can call it people. And then again, it has to be an integer because you can't have half a person. And then input to ask the question. And then how many people do you want to share it with? And then we close the double brackets. Then it says find out how many apples will remain if you share the apples equally. So we can create um, a variable called answer here. And then we do apples modulus people. Now this will divide apples by people and it will find the remainder. Um, for example, if we have six apples and three people, everyone will get two each. But if we have, let's say seven apples and three people, it will give three apple, um, two apples to each person, which means there's going to be one more apple left because we have seven. Okay. In this case, we just need to print um, the answer. So there will be, and then answer meaning. So apples remaining. Okay. Now when I run it, it says how many people do you want to share it with? Let's say nine. Now how many do you want? So that should be how many apples do you want? Let's say we have nine um, nine apples, and I want to share it with ten people. So if you have ten people and nine uh, nine apple, well. Actually, I'll just make it eight, just to make it more simple. So eight people and nine apples. Now, it will say there will be one apples remaining. Now, this is because every person will get one apple each, and then there'll be one more remaining. 